Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today we are going to show you how you can add this widget to your Elementor and make your website little bit more awesome. And as you can see that it's looking so much amazing with this custom shape SVG. And this widget is fully responsive and also customizable so that you can make customization to this widget as you want and also it is fully responsive as you can see if i come to the mobile size and it is looking awesome and if i come to something like tablet as you can see that it's also working fine so you do not need to worry about the responsiveness of this widget and also i'll show you how you can make and where you can find this widget for your elementor and most of the important part it is fully free we made this so that you can enjoy and test it out and if you wanna thank us just subscribe the channel that will be enough for us and no more talk let's enjoy the show Actually few days earlier I found this in the code drops and here is the link I will put it in the description you will find this and here as you can see that dynamic shape overlays with SVG and if I go to the demo here as you can see that they have six different demo and here in the middle one which is the number three which is looking cool. As you can see that it's looking so much simple with gorgeous effect. So what I did is I turn it into a elemental widget and which is fully customizable and and in this video I will show you how you can find this widget and how you can use it. So before that I want to thank unlimited elements because with the help of unlimited elements widget creator we created our widget and so let's go to the WordPress dashboard and here let's go to the dashboard and first of all let's install the plugin which is unlimited elements so here in there search for unlimited elements and if you search for unlimited elements you will find this one which is unlimited elements for Elementor so this is the plugin install it with the help of this plugin we can create or import our custom widget into our Elementor so that's why we need this plugin so after an installation we can active this plugin so let's go to the unlimited elements so for now let's skip it and here what you can see that we have this bunch of Elementor widget actually so many widget which you can use if you have Elementor and Unlimited elements you can see that so many are free and most of them are pro so if you want you can install their pro version and for that case we have a coupon in the description you can find it or uh, affiliate link please go to the affiliate link which is websifer.com slash unlimited elements you will find this link in the description And here use coupon WebCifer, which you will also find in the description for 20% off discount. So it will worth it because you can see that they have so many plugin. And let's come to the point. So what we need is in here for now we need to import our custom widget. So custom widget. So let's first of all download our custom widget. So for that I will so for that let's go to the mega I will put the link in the description also so you will get the download link so don't worry so come to the mega and download the plugin so that's the so that's not the plugin that's a widget actually so download the widget so come here in these three dots and standard download so as you can see that it's downloading already here so let's come here and drag and drop it here and just import the widget so as you can see that our widget advanced menu is added 
So let's close this pop-up and if you come to the uncategorized, you can see that our advanced menu. And if I go to this menu or if I click this widget, as you can see that here is all our information and this widget is made by WebCipher and it is found on code drops. So as you can see that here is all the code drops, HTML, CSS and JavaScript and many of those I wrote also as customly to turn it to Elementor widget and here it is. After that let's come to the template and let's add a new template and here let's select template type which is header and let's give it name header and here we are and here what we need to do is in the search widget we need to search our widget which is advanced menu and here is the widget and what we need is we need to drag it from here and as you can see that there it is it's looking good and if I publish and say that the condition is for enter site so that this header will for enter site. So if I refresh and what we will see is we will see that this header which is existing header will replace our menu. So as you can see that that's our hamburger menu with this nice little effect. So what we need to do is we need to make it some adjustment and first adjustment is as you can see that there is some white space. So for that what we can do is we can come to the header and in the section let's say that I want the content width will be full width and the column gap will be no gap. So if I update now if I refresh in my site now as you can see that that's for our full width and if I see that there is no more extra gap but we can see that there is still one pixel gap we can see and for that what we can do is we can come to the header and in the advance select the section and in the advance we can make a negative margin so if I make a negative margin and update and come to my site and make a refresh you will see that there is no more gap now so that's looking perfectly fine so let's position this hamburger so for that what we can do is we need to select this hamburger by this pencil icon and let's say that in the advance the position so we need to find the position and for the width let's say that it will be inline auto and also for the position let's say that it will be fixed so now as you can see that the our hamburger is now in there but what we need to do is we need to say that horizontal orientation will be right so this will be in the right side and also we can say that it will be from the right it will be 50 pixel so let me say that and here from the top as you can see that also say that it will be 50 pixel now it is perfectly in position. If I update and come to my site and make a refresh. And as you can see that it's looking perfectly in position. And if I click it, as you can see that it's perfectly working fine with this custom shape layer. But there is a problem. As you can see that if you notice, that's our text for this site but if I come to the navigation as you can see that it's still in here in our navigation we don't want it so for that what we need to do is we need to make some Z index to our widget so select the widget come to the advance and in the advance we need to set some Z index so let's say that 100 and if I go to the website now we have a higher Z index of 100 and if I open our navigation now you can see that we don't have anything we don't have this text in here so as you can see that it's perfectly working fine now our header is higher than any other content in the website 
So let's also make some navigation here. So for the menu, what we need to do is we need to come to the advanced menu and in the content, we will have this item. So for the item, you can add your navigation menu. So let's so for the first one, let's say that home and in the link, what we can do is we don't need to paste or write our URL. We can say that home and in Elementor, there is a nice feature which will put your page, same page in the drop down link. So you can click it, it will make your link or address here. So next one will be about and for the link, let's say that about and here it is about page. So after that, let's add contact. If I can spell and here also say that contact and here it is our contact and last one for that let's say that portfolio let's make the P capital and also here let's say that portfolio and that's fine for now so if I update and open our navigation hamburger as you can see that that's our menu or if I come to my site and make a refresh as you can see that it's our menu it's working fine so after that let's come to the menu and say that we want a style to the text so for that let's go to the style and here let's enable the style and for the typography what we can set is we can set all the items so let's say that Montserrat will be our font family and we will have a font size of 50 pixel and width of something like 300 and also for the line height we will have something like 1.6 time oh, I don't know let's see how it is looking so it's looking perfectly fine let's say that I want something higher line height something like that or something letter spacing of something like that it's looking perfectly fine let's also increase the size of the menu let's say that 60 it's working fine as you can see after that as you can see that we have an option for color so here you can select color which will apply on the text as you can see that we have this red text but there is a problem if you select color from here you will lose the ability to choose a hover color so I will recommend you to not to use color from here so let's clear it from there and as you can see that we have this hover color and if you want to change this color hover and text color what you need to do is you need to go to the content and in the bottom as you can see that we have these two option menu text color and menu text hover color so let's say that text color will be something purple and hover color will be something like that now as you can see that we have this hover color but it is not what you are looking for it's ugly color so let's make another one or let's back to the default one and which is looking good for now so that's it you can change it from here so let's go to the top and say that we have an option for hamburger background as you can see that in the background we have this black color which we can change so let's say that we will have this red color so as you can see that our hamburger is now red you can change anything as you want so let's make it something purple once again and that's looking fine also you can change the color of the bar as you can see that for now it is white so you can make it black or something red as you want so let's say that it will be white and that's looking good after that let's set a pulse color and as you can see that we have this pulse color which is in hamburger around the hamburger so we can change the color of this pulse let's say that I will have a red pulse color so as you can see that our pulse color is now red 
so it's up to you how you want to design we have so many option to design so let's say that i will have something like something like that which is looking fine for me right now so after that you can increase the size of this hamburger let's say that i want 100 so as you can see that now our hamburger is 100 a square so it's looking fine perfectly so let's back to 880 which is looking perfectly fine for now so after that as you can see that if we click it we have these three layer going on here first one is which is this white one so we can change this so let's say that first layer will be this red color second one will be something purple or third one will be like that let's say that third one will be white and if i click as you can see that if you notice we have three layer which is now changed color first one as you can see that red and second one as you can see that purple and third one and is white and if you notice you can see that the third SVG layer which is white is the final color for our nav menu so choose it as a background for the nav menu so I will have this color which is looking good for now for the third color so that's it let's save it and if I come back to my site and let's make a refresh and as you can see that our custom menu hamburger is here if I click it our menu is working it's fully responsive that's mean when I come to the mobile it will be fully fine but for now as you can see that we have this menu which is WordPress menu so let's open it with a incognito mode and paste it here so that we can test our responsiveness so now as you can see that it's looking fine and also we don't have any gap from the top and if I make it a small size something like that as you can see that it's looking fine and something like tab size as you can see that it's looking also fine so it's fully responsive as you can see that so that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this widget and if you want you can join our facebook group where you can find this kind of idea or you can give me idea to make elementor widget link in the description you can join and let me know how it is and what kind of improvement can i make and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel and my name is arfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kudahapas